Hey all, in this video I'm going to show you guys a fall capsule wardrobe that I've put together. Uh, the last time I did a capsule wardrobe was for spring and I followed the 10 by 10 challenge. So with the 10 by 10 challenge, you take 10 pieces of clothing and make 10 outfits. It usually doesn't include accessories like belts and jewelry, but it does include shoes and jackets. So for this time, I included shoes, but I did not include jackets, but I only used one jacket for all of the outfits. So like last time, I kept all the colors really neutral, so it's just just white, tan, blue, and black. And again, that is just what is also the majority of my closet. So it makes it really easy for me to mix and match. I'm just imposing the clothing limit on myself because I know it'll force me to be a bit more creative with my outfits. But if you want to choose a bit more clothes to give yourself a bit more variety, then feel free to do so. Let's get into it. This is the Uniqlo Heat Tech Turtleneck, which is a staple piece for me in the fall and winter. I have it in a variety of colors, but for this capsule I went with white. It's quite thin, but it's very warm and having it as a base layer makes all the difference. This is from H&M last year. It's a tan colored ribbed mock neck sweater. I really like that it's fitted and cropped. It's nice to have some sweater options that you don't need to tuck in. I haven't seen it online this season, so I've linked a similar one in the description. This blouse is from Oakenfort and I got it this fall season. I also like that this one is cropped because crop tops really complement petite frames like mine. I like that you can wear it buttoned up or undone for more of a blazer look which makes it quite versatile. This sweater is also from Oakenfort and I picked it up as part of the end of spring sale this year. It's very soft and cozy and I like the subtle white stripe detail on the arms. This is an oversized corduroy shacket, aka shirt jacket from Aritzia. I really love the soft velvety feel and texture of corduroy and it's a great layer piece that can be worn on its own or over top of other things. These are the A Goldie 90s mid-rise loose fit jeans. They have just a bit of distressing and are a true straight leg which make them super classic and versatile. These are the Farrah Wide Leg Jeans by Denim Forum. They're a wide leg with a subtle flare. I like the wide leg because I'm petite and they elongate my legs, but any white denim would do. This is the only slip dress by Wilfred. It's a great little black dress that can really be worn through all seasons with layering, and it's really just a nice, timeless, and classic piece. For my casual sneaker, these are the Converse Leather Platform Chuck Taylors. I love chucks, they go with everything, and I found that they keep improving the comfort of the sole each year, which is great. I love the platform on these to give me some extra height. And for a more dressy option, I have these croc leather ankle boots from Mango. I like that the heel isn't too high, which makes them more comfortable to wear, and I think the square toe looks really classic and chic. And for my only coat, I have this tan wool blend one that I got from Zara last year. It has a lapel collar and flat pockets, and it's really just a classic style. I think this color works so well for fall and best complements all of the outfits. So for this first outfit, I've paired the navy sweater with the white jeans and Converse shoes. Nothing groundbreaking here, just a simple, casual daytime outfit. I hope by now no one thinks you can't wear white after Labor Day. White in the fall looks super crisp and clean. In the fall, I'm usually leaning toward darker colors, so it helps to bring some brightness to my outfits. For this next outfit, I'm wearing the slip dress and I threw on the corduroy shacket, buttoned it up and put a brown belt over top which matches the croc ankle boots. The belt accentuates my waist since the top is so oversized and gives my body some shape. It also makes the outfit look more put together overall and I think the more structured shirt is a nice balance to the flowy dress. Putting the white jeans and sneakers back on, I paired them with the ribbed mock neck sweater which sits really nicely and meets the rise of these jeans. Another easy casual outfit for a not so windy day. I didn't put a belt on because I liked the more monochrome look of this outfit, especially with the wool coat on. Monochrome always looks effortlessly chic. For this next look, I paired the Heat Tech turtleneck with the straight leg blue jeans and Converse sneakers. Sometimes you want to have a layer option, so I draped the navy sweater over my shoulders. You could leave the arms of the sweater untied or you could tie them, totally up to you as both looks work. With the coat on, you could wear the coat over the sweater and let the arms hang like a scarf, or you could drape the sweater over the coat for something a bit more unexpected that adds some dimension to the look. 
Next, I put the slip dress back on and put the mock neck sweater over top. I think this works so well because the sweater is cropped so there's no extra material to deal with and it really makes the dress look like a skirt. I paired this with the ankle boots for a more dressed up look. If it were colder, I'd wear some black leggings under the skirt for some extra warmth. This next outfit would be great for a colder day. I kept the sweater on, layered the corduroy shacket over top, and paired it with the blue jeans and Converse sneakers. The buttons on the shacket match nicely with the tan sweater and coat, and I love that this outfit shows that if you choose the right pieces for a capsule, you can definitely create different looks and warmer options just by layering. This next outfit is another layered one. I kept the sweater and sneakers on and swapped the jeans for the white ones. So this is outfit three, but with a black blouse over top. And I think having that contrast creates such a different look. You could wear the blouse opened for something more casual and undone, or you could button it up for something a bit more dressy. With the coat on, I like the shirt button so that more of the black shows, giving the outfit more depth with the different layers. Next is the black slip dress layered over the white turtleneck with the Converse sneakers. Layering a slip dress over a t-shirt is a popular look for spring, so this is basically just the fall version of that. Again, there are warmer and different looks you can make with layering some of the other pieces over top of this, but I just kept this one light, simple, and casual. For the next outfit, I put the mock neck sweater back on and paired it with the blue jeans. I paired them with the croc ankle boots for a bit more of a dressed up vibe, and I also put on a brown belt to match with the boots and pull the look together. And last, I kept the boots on but swapped the jeans for the white ones, put the heat tech turtleneck back on and layered the navy sweater over top for a warm and cozy outfit. The turtleneck peeking out has some preppy vibes and I like pulling the sleeves of the sweater past the coat to keep my hands warm, look a bit more casual, and balance the dark with the light colors in this outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I tried to include some more casual styles and some more dressy styles, so hopefully there's something in there for you. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.